welcome back to my channel so today we will learn in this video how to take DHCP backup and restore in the last video we had learned how to install and configure DHCP server and uh, today we will learn how to take backup of DHCP server and restore it if any failure will be happen so for safe side we have uh, we should have the backup of all servers so right now we will learn about DHCP backup and restore so guys before go ahead I want to request you uh, please subscribe my channel so that you can get notification for new upcoming videos let's start now so this is my uh, DHCP server even this is also my ADC server and I have configured DHCP server on this ADC server so this is server manager if you want I can reopen it click on start button go to server manager tools and DHCP so you can see here the DHCP console is open now and uh, for testing I have created here one scope that is with name of scope 1 so now I am going to show you here how you can take backup so you have to right click on server name backup and here you have to provide path where you want to take backup so I have already created here uh, DHCP folder in within C drive but I want to show you the default backup path of DHCP is C drive windows system 32 and uh, DHCP so this is the default directory for DHCP and uh, the default backup path is this backup folder means C drive windows system 32 DHCP and backup so if you will take backup by default it will be uh, it will be available here otherwise you can select the destination path manually so I'm going to uh, select here like C drive DHCP so I want to show you this is C drive and I have created here the folder DHCP you can see here there is no any files so now I'm going to select here the DHCP folder and click OK now we'll check if there is any files yes so, so now we'll try to restore the backup so just click on right click uh, right click here restore sorry before that uh, uh, we can test by deleting the created scope and then we will uh, try to restore and check if the back backup is successfully restored or not and uh, if it is working or not so I'm going to delete here this scope yes so now there is no any scope created here I will try to uh, recover or restore backup now and let's see if scope is restored or not means uh, we can test it now if our backup is beneficial for us or not so right click restore and uh, here within that C drive we have taken back backup so this is the this was the folder DHCP and you can see the 
the new and other configuration file is available here so only we have to select the folder and click ok in order to change to take effect the service must be stopped and restart would you like to do this yes it will automatically stop and restart and restore backup yes so you can see here the database was restart, restored successfully click ok and now we will check deleted scope is recovered or not so guys you can see here the scope is recovered now so now I hope it is clear to you if by mistake or by uh, any failure if your DHCP uh, any scope deleted or uh, if DHCP server uh, crashed so if you have a backup then you can just restore and start your DHCP server I hope this is uh, helpful for you this video is helpful for you and uh, I hope uh, you have subscribed my channel so that you can get a new upcoming videos notification if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe like and share thanks bye bye